Hey there, my name's Gavin. Uh, we're going to take the next step in the multi-body portion. This is what we have so far. We've just got a maze floor connected to kind of the origin. Um, what we're going to do now is add two wheels and a platform. And so let's figure out how to do this. All I did from last time was I changed the this thing to a different name, maze floor, no big deal. Um, you just click once and you can change it to whatever you need it to be. So I'll open up the library here, and uh, what we're going to do is add a couple new elements. So we're going to add another body. So we'll come down here to the Simscape portion, and go to Multibody, and Body Elements. Okay. And then we'll add change the parameters on this. And for this, we're, we're going to make this a brick too, but we're going to have very different dimensions. So we'll make this in units of millimeters, and we'll make uh, the X portion, the width portion, 84 millimeters, and the Y portion, 147 millimeters, and the Z portion, let's just make that about 3 millimeters thick. Okay, and I'm going to hit F5 to update and uh, fit to view. And there we go. And if I middle click and drag on something, that'll that'll set my rotation point, and I can look at this. This is kind of the PCB that we're going to mount this on. So I'll say OK. And I'll call this PCB platform. All right. Now I also need something else. I need some some kind of wheel. So I'm going to call this wheel one. These are going to be the drive wheels. And let's see, how big are our drive wheels? Here we go. Uh, so we'll change this shape to a cylinder. And we'll change these units to millimeters. OK, now these are 32 um, millimeter diameter, so it's going to be a 16 millimeter radius. And the length, uh, which is basically the, the width, uh, for us is seven millimeters. So I'm gonna hit apply. Again this doesn't update till I'll hit F5 and then I'll zoom to fit and I can see that the axis uh, of the cylinder is on the Z and then X and Y are that way. And I'm gonna leave just like before. I'll leave the inertia and that sort of thing as it is. So I'll say OK and I need two of these wheels so I'll right click and drag and that'll make wheel two. Now these are all kind of defaulting to the center, so what I'm going to do is add rigid transforms between them. Um, so I'll right click and drag this guy and say make the base the PCB platform. I'll connect these two this way. I'll do the same thing for this guy. Actually before I do that, I'm going to change the rigid transform between the wheel and the PCB. And I want to move it. I don't want it to rotate yet. I just want to translate first. And I'm going to use Cartesian coordinates. And since that, let's see, how big was that? That little cart was 80, 84 millimeters wide. So I'm going to move it half of that to 42 millimeters. Um, and I want to move that in the x direction, so 42 in the x direction and that's millimeters. So what I'm doing is I'm offsetting the wheel from the PCB platform. Now the other wheel, um, right click and drag, highlight it, control R a couple of times to rotate that around, that'll be the base again, that'll be the follower for the transform, and this time I want to make it, actually we'll leave the 42 will be on that side, this one will make negative 42. So we're just going to push it to either side. OK. Now, if we run this, let's hit, uh, we, got, we have it just connected with a 6 degree of freedom joint. There you are, 6 degree of freedom joint. And we'll connect this from this point here to right here. Doesn't really matter where we connect that. We, we just we want 
the simulation to know they're part of the same system. Um, and this doesn't constrain it at all. And then we'll run this. Okay. I'm going to hit stop. And I'm going to rotate this again. Rewind. And I want us to take a look here. Um, we can use this frame here to hide the maze floor. Hide this. And then we'll zoom all. And we can see what happened. So we translated it, but we actually need to rotate it as well. Because we haven't... Um, the z-axis was defined up. So what we need to do then is go back to these rigid transforms. And we want to rotate. That's the y-axis away from us. You can see here. So we want to rotate 90 degrees on the y-axis. So we'll take a standard axis, we'll make it the plus y, and we'll go 90 degrees. And we'll do this for both sides. So we're just telling it how to rotate. Plus y, 90 degrees. We'll save that. We'll run it again, and you might have seen it went real quick there, but I'm going to pause it, and there it is. So there we have our, our two wheels and the platform, and because of gravity, uh, this is falling, so if we go forward a few frames, it's, it's starting to fall through, and very soon we'll, we'll set up some contact constraints. Um, but yeah, uh, while we're here, I'll just mention these are the bodies, and we can look at you know what uh, frame reference ports there are, world frame. We can kind of see our whole model in 3D here, uh, sort of like a feature manager type of tree, and edit things if we need to. So that's it for this time. Uh, just to keep things short, I'm not going to go too far each time. Um, but next time, we will talk about... Uh, some 3D contacts so we can get these things that we can get the, the actual cart to stay on top of the maze. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and come back and see me soon. Thanks.